We're on vacation in Stockton, New Jersey, at the Wolverton Inn in New Jersey, and it's right outside of Pennsylvania, about 45 minutes from my house, and it's really lovely. There's sheep, there's a little cottage that we'll show you, and some great places we went to to go shopping, to get food, and it was just a lovely time, and I hope you enjoy this video.
Here's the Medusa's mixture, what we got at the Cloak and the Wand here in uh, the Peddler's Village in Lambertville. It uh, nice. has all kinds of witchy stuff and wizardry stuff. I got the, what is it? The Medusa's, the Medusa's mixture, Medusa. which has a transformation spell number 74, and you gain control over, over snakes. One night, we had dinner in our room. We're having salmon uh, is my dish. And before, I had corn soup. And it tasted like um, lobster bisque, but corn, and it's my favorite soup ever. Asparagus, mashed potatoes, short ribs, and little fried onions on top. And now we have dessert, and it is a pear tart. So I managed to read three books while I was here, and the first book is This Poison Heart by Kaylin Bayron, and she also wrote Cinderella is Dead, which I loved. Um, so this is like an obvious read for me. Um, it is following a girl named Briseis, and she is able to 
make plants follow her and grow. And what I was not expecting, because I never read book synopsis, is um, it's a Greek mythology book. And I'm obsessed with that. So I absolutely love this. It ends on a cliffhanger, and I already got book two on its way to my house to read as soon as I get home. If you love um, family stories, if you love Greek mythology that has my favorite goddesses in it, then you'll love this. It's great to read in the spring and the summer because there's a lot of plants and gardens and it's really, really good. Five stars. The next book I read was Where the Dark Stands Still by A.B. Kornick. And this is a sort of fairy tale um, fantasy book. There's a lot of romance in it, and it's about this young girl. Well, she's like, I think 17 or 18, which is young to me. Um, she goes into this forest to find a flower that will let her make a wish. And her wish is to remove her magic abilities because it's making the people in her town fear her. Because it is a historical setting. So when she gets there, she finds the flower outside of the house and in the house is a demon man and he says to her i'll do what you want and you have to live with me for a year and she does and things happen and there's romance i really love this book if you don't like romance you will not like this. The ending is going to be very divisive for people, but I loved it. So check it out. Five stars again. I forgot to say, if you like Beauty and the Beast, you'll like this because it's very similar in theme, in tone, and kind of in plot. The last book I read was Restless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. I read her other book, The Life Upstairs, which I liked a lot better than this. I gave this two stars. Um, it's about a woman who's dating a guy who has a boat, and they go to a remote island that used to have um, a party that was supposedly cannibals, and now it was like abandoned, this island, and they get there and things happen, except not really. Nothing happens until like the last 50 pages, and it was very unsatisfying, not suspenseful, not scary, just really, really bad, and I think it had a very bad message about women and power, and I hated it. So, I'm, ha I'm not happy to have ended my vacation on this book, but I'll be happy to start a new book when I get home. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.